Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to allow remote connections to MySQL in Ubuntu or Debian. In this video, we will guide you on Ubuntu 20.4. Begin by running the following commands as a non-root user to update your package listings. You need to install the database system to be able to store and manage data for your site. MySQL is a popular database management system used within PHP environments. Use APT to acquire and install this software. When prompted, confirm installation by typing Y, and then enter. When the installation is finished, it's recommended that you run a security script that comes pre-installed with MySQL. This script will remove some insecure default settings and lock down access to your database system. Ensure that the server is running using the following command. Set password has no significance for user root apostrophe at localhost as the authentication method used doesn't store authentication data in the MySQL server. You need to change the authentication parameters to do so just run this command first. Then run this alter query to change the authentication parameters. And now, you are able to run the following command. This will ask if you want to configure the Validate Password plugin. If you answer yes, you'll be asked to select a level of password validation. Keep in mind that if you enter 2 for the strongest level, you will receive errors when attempting to set any password which does not contain numbers, upper and lowercase letters, and special characters, or which is based on common dictionary words. Regardless of whether you chose to set up the Validate Password plugin, your server will next ask you to select and confirm a password for the MySQL root user. If you enabled password validation, you'll be shown the password strength for the root password. You just entered and your server will ask if you want to continue with that password. If you are happy with your current password, enter Y for yes at the prompt. For the rest of the questions, press Y and hit the enter key at each prompt. This will remove some anonymous users in the test database, disable remote root logins, and load these new rules so that MySQL immediately respects the changes you have made. When you're finished, test if you're able to log in to the MySQL console by typing. Once you have access to the MySQL prompt, you can create a new user with a create user statement. These follow this general syntax. Alternatively, you can create a new user account that will only connect from the remote host with the following command. After create user, you specify a username. Run this grant statement, replacing GreenCloud with your own MySQL user's name, to grant these privileges to your user. However, you should only grant users the permissions they need, so feel free to adjust your own user's privileges as necessary. Some users may want to grant their MySQL user the All Privileges privilege, which will provide them with broad superuser privileges akin to the root user's privileges. Run the following command. Following this, it's good practice to run the Flush Privileges command. This will free up any memory that the server cached as a result of the preceding Create User and Grant statements. To exit the MySQL console, type This example uses the Nano Text Editor in Ubuntu 20.04. Enter the following command in your command line interface to access the MySQL server configuration file. You now have access to the MySQL server configuration file. Scroll down to the bind address line and change the IP address. The current default IP is set to 127.0.0.1. This IP limits MySQL connections to the local machine. The new IP should match the address of the machine that needs to access the MySQL server remotely. For example, if you bind MySQL to 0.0.0.0, then any machine that reaches the MySQL server can also connect with it. Once you make the necessary changes, save and exit the configuration file.
Apply the changes made to the MySQL config file by restarting the MySQL service. Next, your current firewall settings need to be adjusted to allow traffic to the default MySQL port. While editing the configuration file, you probably observed that the default MySQL port is 3306. If you have already configured a firewall on your MySQL server, you need to open traffic for this specific port. UFW is the default firewall tool in Ubuntu. To install use the command. Type the following command to allow traffic and match the IP and port. The system confirms that the rules were successfully updated. Your remote server is now ready to accept connections. Use the following command to establish a connection with your remote MySQL server. Enter your password. You should see an output similar to the one following. In this video, you have gained valuable insight into the general principles of a remote MySQL connection. With the appropriate credentials, a user originating from the specified IP address can now access your MySQL server from a remote machine.